There was celebration in the air even before Celtic had kicked the ball. The unfurling of the league flag brought back happy memories of a successful centenary season. Manager Billy McNeil decided to go with the same squad of players that did the double. But opening day wasn't going to be a picnic for the champions. They faced Hearts, one of the toughest teams in the country. After a scoreless first half, the pressure was on Celtic to find the net. Tommy Burns with it. Smith misjudging, and I think a bit of pushing going on, a free kick. You can hear from the crowd, he didn't like that decision. supporters have been asking Henry's going to show them the ball <laughs> and he did Walker oh he should have cut it to the side and Smith called I think yes McAvaney strongly in the man has scored the goal at the end of the cup final The ball was dropped by Smith. Morris. Got to Celtic. Miller busting through the middle. Morris. Oh, superb play by McStay. It's there, McAvenny. one nothing. six minutes of the second half gone, and all coming from that delightful play by Paul McStay. Now, Neil Berry has been at, like a limpet on him. He hasn't been able to get away all that much, but he did it right at the vital time, and this is extremely clean finishing. Keeping his eye on the ball. A superb pass. I thought it might be onside. Miller. And he saved. For oh, what a missed chance. That would have been a glorious individual goal. Superbly saved on the line. Pressure still on though. Away by Galloway. That would have killed Hart stone dead. Black fought out of it well. A money to Black. Free kick, I would think, yes. Now, that was a money stretched out. Now, watch this. Out comes Smith. He's almost deceived. He does get that touched in. And Whitaker, brilliantly in, plugging the gap. 